on guys it's live from New York and I'm back with part two to my last video I'm gonna kick this off with the Craigslist pickup now when I was browsing Craigslist I saw a couple of ads and I realized they pretty much had the uh, same format so I emailed the person about one of the ads and asked them if they had any other stuff for sale so we basically had uh, three lots and they were individually priced and I asked him if you know if I were to buy everything will he come down on the price and you know we did a little negotiating and we came to an agreement Alright, so this pickup was from last Saturday, and what I did last week was I pretty much emailed every garage sale uh, ad on Craigslist that's within like a half an hour drive of me. Now, I didn't get too many replies back, I got a lot of no, we won't be selling video games, which is good because now I'm not going to waste my time going there. I wish everybody would say, no, we don't have games. <laughs> But I did get one email back and the person pretty much said, you know, we're going to have Nintendo with games and a Sega with games. I pretty much just uh, write down the address and I made it a point to be there first thing. I got there early and uh, let me show you guys what I got. So here we have the uh, boxed NES system. And as you can see, there is a little bit of wear. It's not in the greatest condition. But here we have the uh, Nintendo logo. And this is the control deck set. It's in okay condition. And the control deck didn't come with the game, but it was supposed to come with the uh, official Nintendo's player guide, which I don't have because it wasn't inside. Here you see uh, some of the main damage to the box. The edges are bent. And here you see uh, the corner is a little bit crushed. It looks a lot worse here than it does in person, but the uh, you see the wear on the edges. Here we have a box NES Advantage, and it is in really good condition. Not just a little bit of shelf wear, not much. 
now this didn't come complete with the uh, styrofoam insert or anything so it's just the box and the nes advantage but the advantage is really clean pretty much looks like it was never used i've seen a lot of them would turn yellow or they're really crusty but this one is really clean here are the uh, official nintendo seal our first game is the punisher it's a ljn game so you know it's quality and we have a uh, bad dudes which I bought thinking was Bad Street Brawler, but I guess I was mistaken. Here we have uh, Bigfoot, which I actually had this game as a kid, so I was really glad to pick this up again. I had a lot of fun with that. We have Gradius, which is a classic Konami shoot 'em up. And we have a uh, Tengen RBI Baseball. I always try and pick up a Tengen card if I can find one that I don't have. Here we have Zelda 2: The Adventures of Link. Now this is actually better condition than the copy I have. So I'll be keeping this one and uh, trading off my other copy. And of course we have the Legend of Zelda Gold Cart. And again, this is better condition than my current copy, which was in decent condition. Here we have the uh, Genesis box. Now this is the core system. So it came with just the system, the controller, and the hookup cables. It did not come with the game like some of the later systems. Here we have uh, NBA Jam, the manual complete. The Mortal Kombat 1. This is the version to get. We have Street Fighter 2. And Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. It's complete with the manual as well. A funny story about this pickup is, you know, this place was about 20 minutes away from my house. I tried to get out there early, but I still had to get gas and go to the bank. So I got there about 10 minutes early and when I got there, everything was set up. So I went up there and you know, I was looking through everything. And while I'm going through it, one of the resellers in my area show up. So he walks up to the table and the stuff is in plain sight. He sees what I have to decide and I know it's probably killing him inside. Like he missed it by five minutes. He got there on time. If he would have got there early, he would have got it over me. But uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. So he's at the table and he's reading like the back of a WWF PS1 game. He's like looking at sports titles like way longer than anybody would be looking at these items. Especially, I know who you are, dude. Like, who are you fooling? Why are you staring at uh, NHL 94 on the Sega Genesis? So basically, I came to the conclusion that this guy's like waiting me out. Probably wait till I, you know, speak to the woman running the garage sale and like try and like cut in and, you know, offer more or whatever. But I wasn't having it, so every time he picked up a game, I picked up a game, and I was reading the games, and I was just pretending I was looking through everything, but I already knew in my head what I was getting, what I was doing, so I waited for him to walk away. He maybe picked up one or two games, and he went to his car, and I went up to the lady, and we like negotiated the price and everything, and we came to an agreement, which was 65 bucks for everything, which I think was a pretty good deal, considering she started at 200 and we got down to 65, which is a much more manageable price. <clears throat> so I pretty much drove around the rest of the day going to random sales and I didn't really find anything that was uh, priced well or mind blowing. But I did come across this one garage sale and they were moving so they had to get rid of everything and they had a you know a table full of DVDs and games and they were asking you know a buck a piece so I picked up a whole bunch of DVDs and a couple games and I'm gonna show you those games right now. Here we have the Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Resident Evil 4. Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Chaos Bleeds on the Xbox, so 
So all in all, it was a decent garage sale day. I mean, I found pretty much everything at the first garage sale, and I still went out for a couple hours after that. I mean, I probably should have went home because I'd only found, you know, a couple more games. I did get some DVDs and stuff to add to the collection, which was cool. You know, this is why we do this. This is what you go out there, you sacrifice your time, you sacrifice, you know, money and gas, and looking around, and eventually you're going to come up on something, and I feel really good about this pickup. I'm really glad to finally get an NES control deck in the box. So again, I just want to thank you for watching my video. Peace.